This is Channel 7, WABC-TV, New York. WABC-TV, New York. This is WABC-TV, Channel 7, in New York. WABC-TV, New York. Number one, what is your name, please? My name is Elaine Zaya. Number two. My name is Elaine Zaya. And number three. My name is Elaine Zaya. Only one of these people is the real Elaine Zaya and has sworn to tell the truth. And now from Studio 6A in New York's Rockefeller Center, let's meet our panel. In clubs, he's the toast from coast to coast, Cindy Sales. And just as smart as she is pretty, Pat Collins. Host of the nationally syndicated radio program, Hooked on Books, Henry Morgan. And our Tony Award winner, Anchor Lady, Peggy Cass. That's our panel. And here's the host of To Tell the Truth, Robin You sound like a good bunch. Welcome to the Tell the Truth. It's good to see you all. Panel, are you ready to play our game? Or yes, should we, we are Should we just ready. chat? No, Would you like to play? play? No, okay, play. let's play. Would you follow along as I read this affidavit? I, Elaine Zayak, am the national senior women's figure skating champion. I won the gold medal in February of 1981, and in doing so, executed a series of seven triple revolution jumps, a feat which had never been performed before. I credit my success with the triples to the work I do on the trampoline. Previous to my winning the national title, my biggest thrill was participating with Jojo Starbuck and Peggy Fleming in the first ice skating clinic ever held in the People's Republic of China. Signed, Elaine Zaya. Sure, you're all looking terrific. Um, panel, these relays all claim to be national figure skating champion, Lane Zayak. Let's start the questioning with Henry Morgan. Uh, number one, a triple revolution jump. What is that? Okay, it's where you have to get a lot of force before you can do it, and it's a triple jump in the air before you come down. And if you do seven, I mean, you come down between them, do you? Right, yes, I did a series of seven. You know, like... I would turn in the air three times, but I did it seven times. Oh. You know, seven different times during the routine. <laughs> Aren't you a little young to be a um, senior women's figure skating champion? No, um, it's not the age. You have to pass eight tests before you can qualify for it, and I did. Uh-huh, good. Number two, what part of the South are you from? Prowse, New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> Right in the heart of Dixie, Henry. And we go, yeah. we go to Peggy Cass. And number one, where in the South are you from? Uh, I used to live in Alabama, but I'm in New Jersey now. Well, did they have lots of ice skating rinks when you were a little girl in Alabama for you to practice on? Yes, ma'am, they did. That's how I got started. And my parents realized, you know, that I had a lot of potential, so we decided to move to the north. But this is not a southern accent it compared isn't. to what it used to be. It sounds no. like hush puppies to me. <laughs> number three, how many figures are obligatory when you do your solo for... Senior women's. Well, the short um, composition, you are required to do six elements, uh -huh. which are six, you know, they have, but the long is freestyle and you make up your own routine, and that's four minutes. Number two, when you went to China, did you have uh, any trouble communicating with the Chinese kids of your own age? We had translators, but we couldn't talk to them at all. And we go to Soupy Say. Number one. <laughs> Whereabouts in China did you did you uh, do these exhibitions? Peking. Uh huh. Number two, do the Chinese are they avid uh, ice skaters? Yeah, I'd uh -huh. say just about as much as we are. Uh -huh. Number three, are they entered in the uh, Olympics? Yes. W were you in the Olympics? No. Uh huh. Number one, have you turned pro yet? No, I haven't. Well, number two, where in the uh, 1981 Olympics where did you skate? I wasn't in the Olympics in 1981. So does I, was at, I was at the Nationals. Oh, oh. I, I, oh is that, number three, will you be in the next Olympics? Yes, in Yugoslavia, 84. Uh -huh. And we go to Pat Collins. Number three, who are Ty Babylonia and Randy Gardner? They are the pair skaters. 
they were the ones that were disqualified this year in the Olympics. And they number two, thank you, number three. Number two, who's John Curry? Um, he's a he's a figure skater and he's very balletic and he's into uh, dancing now. Number one, do you aspire to be in the ice follies, the ice capades? Is that what you see for yourself down the road? Yes, when I turn professional, I would love to do that. I love ice skating, but right now I like the competition. It's fun. What is the rule regarding number two, competition and going professional? Um, they're totally different. And number three, going back to China, uh, how do they differ in, in terms of style and, and uh, competition from what you do? Well, everyone's style is different, even the American style. You know, mine is different from Peggy Fleming. And but are they as influenced? That bell is ringing, panel, and I think you know what that means. It means you must stop questioning and you must make a decision and vote for number one or for number two or for number three. Henry, who got your vote? Um... I'd give them each one vote if I had my druthers. But number three answered the, the last question, I believe it was, so easily. Uh, Peggy Fleming's style is different from mine. So um, I vote for number three. All right, and Peggy, uh, who, who got your vote? Well, I'm so humiliated, I can hardly hold this card up. I voted for number four. <laughs> <laughs> but then I realized I made a mistake when I recounted, and so I voted for number three. Uh, all right. That's humiliating. Soupy, who got your vote? I think it's number two. Okay, I vote for number two. And Pat, who got your vote? <laughs> number two. You, you get yourselves together, panel, right now. Well, now we're going to find out which of these ladies, in fact, won the national figure skating title. Will the real Elaine Zayak please stand up? Okay, before we talk to Elaine, uh, let's find out who our imposters are. Number one, could you tell us uh, a little bit about yourself? My name is Laura Sellers. I'm 15, year I'm 15 years old. I live in the heart of Dixie at Decatur, Alabama. Nice to have you. <laughs> and number three, could you give us a little bit of uh, background about yourself, please? My name is Whitney Smith, and I'm a senior at Melbourne High School, and next year I will be a freshman at the University of Colorado in Boulder. Congratulations. Good to have you. Elaine, I know you're, you're only, you've done, a, you've done a heck of a lot. You've, uh, you've won this title, which is absolutely marvelous. You're 15 years old, I know. Why did you start using the trampoline as, as a training device for, for Olympic skating or for figure skating? Yeah. Nobody's ever done that before, have they? No. Well, um, when I was about six years old, I got a trampoline for Christmas, and I was jumping all around on it. And I think that really, because I, I mean, I started skating, but not seriously until I was about six. And I think that really helped me, because I, <laughs> I just kept bouncing up on the on the ice when I went out to skate. There were two incorrect votes. Your lovely lady's been a pleasure having you on the show. You've won $200. We'll see two of you back on one-on-one. -on -one. All the best, you guys. Congratulations. And we'll be right back, so stay where you are. Today's classic episode of Tell Us Short Bounds. We'll go back to decades galore. Totally awesome 80s. It's brought to you in part by Pepsi Cola, choice of a new generation. This is a taste test of two regular colas. In side by side blind taste tests nationwide, more people prefer the taste of Pepsi over Coca Cola. Here are Lee and Leonard Gross taking a similar test. Which one did you prefer? I like the L. You yeah, preferred I like, L? I like yeah. the L. I want you to tell me which cola you preferred. Oh, Ma. Pepsi. We chose the Pepsi. It was unanimous, the both of us. Don't take our word for it. Let your taste decide. Take the Pepsi challenge. Elaine Zayat cannot accept her prize money. She asks us to donate it to the Memorial Fund of the United States Figure Skating Champion, which is very nice. And right now, let's meet our next team of challengers. Number one, what is your name, please? My name is Larry King. Number two. My name is Larry King. And number three. My name is Larry King. All right, panel, if you'd be so good as to join me as I uh, read through this affidavit. I, Larry King, am the host of the nation's only live coast-to-coast -coast network radio show. 
I'm on the air from midnight to 5.30 a.m., five nights a week, on more than 200 stations. For the first three hours, I talk with a celebrity guest. It could be anyone from Muhammad Ali to Frank Sinatra or Miss Piggy. Then at 3 o'clock, I open up the phone lines. None of the calls are screened. If I don't like a caller's attitude or his language, I simply hang up on him. Several years ago, I had a very big talk show in Miami, but I blew it when my lifestyle outstripped my income. I got $300,000 in debt and had to file bankruptcy. Now I turn my paycheck over to my wife. She gives me $75 a week for expenses. Signed, Larry King. <laughs> And welcome, gentlemen. Good to have you on to tell the truth. And panel, these three gentlemen all claim to be uh, talk show host and TV host Larry King. And uh, let's start the questioning with Pat Collins. Thanks, Robert. Number three, there's another more legal sounding way of describing the declaration of personal bankruptcy. What is it? I have no idea. Okay, number two, what's a seven second delay? That's when the seven second is delayed on the open mic, the live mic. Number one, that's, it's pretty gutsy to do a live show and one that you don't screen the callers. What are most of the phone calls these days about? What, what's on the minds of most of the people in your audience? Well, actually, Pat, it depends on, on the time of uh, the show. Uh, the early part of the show, it's my guest that I've got. Uh, later on, it's about the economy right now. Really? The, yeah. the economy? Is, and number two, what do most of the people say about uh, the economy? Well, they were listening to Reagan's speech last night. They were hoping that uh, this tax cut works because if it doesn't, there's going to be a lot of crying. We have three and we on. go to Henry Morgan. Mm -hmm. uh, number three, you don't look particularly pleased. Um, is it the fact that you haven't had enough sleep? <laughs> That's true. I, uh, I did the show last night. I flew up uh, here this morning, and I have been up for 29 hours. You say you flew up. You don't do it from New York. No, the show's in Washington. Based in Washington, but it's heard all over the country. I see. Uh, number one, where is your show based? Uh, in Washington, Arlington, actually. What did you do before you did this kind of show? Uh, I've been doing the show for the last 17 years, in Miami and uh, then in Washington for the last three. I'm trying to find out from the way you talk whether I can place you, and I can't. Uh, were you born in Miami? No, I was born in Detroit. Number two, <laughs> where, um, <laughs> where were you born? New York. Yeah, but you stay and we go to Peggy Cass. Thank you. Number three, of this $75 a week that your wife gives you from your pay, uh, what do you? What kind of expenses are you responsible for? Oh, just uh, gas and cigarettes. No, All the bills how are much do you smoke? Me. Well, I just cut down. I used to smoke three packs a day. Well, you're getting too much money. I'm under a pack. Oh I yeah, mean, I always have something left over. Okay, but you, I mean, if you want to buy a drink, you buy that out of seventy-five, or is yeah, that different? And cleaning. Number one, are you allowed credit cards? Uh, no credit cards. No, no credit cards. Not a one. You're not so well off, are you? No, really? I'm in now, trouble. Number two, how do you have a three-hour conversation with Miss Piggy? I just would like to clear that up. Well, we speak to Jim. Jim, Jim, Jim speaks, Jim Henson, he speaks for Miss Piggy. But number three, who is the real voice of Miss Piggy? It's uh, Jim Henson's assistant, it's uh, Frank Oz, I believe. They're both on the And, and we go to Soupy. Thank you. Number one, there, there's another famous radio talk host that does a show from Miami. Do you know his name? Uh, no, there isn't anyone doing it from Miami right now. I, I'm not talking about on the network, I mean from in, in Miami. Uh, no, I don't know him. Okay. Uh, number two, where, where did you start? I started in Miami. Uh huh. That was where you started Miami your radio. Beach. My uh -huh. radio was in Miami uh -huh. Beach. Number three, how many calls do you get a night? Well, there's no way to count how many come in because the lines are always busy. But we, we get through to about 120 people a night. Uh huh. Number one, the more men or more women call? Uh, actually, it's about 50/50, Soupy. Uh huh. Number two, what's the age limit? I mean, age range of the. Uh, there's calls? no breakdown. We have firemen. We have uh, policemen calling in. Anybody that stays up, that's an insomniac, will call in. Uh huh. Uh. The ring of that bell panel, it means your time is up, and you must now make a decision and vote. Your time is, no, well, I wouldn't put it quite like that. Your time to question is up. <laughs> you must now vote for number one, or for number two, or for number three. Whoever you think is the real Larry King, and are the ballots all marked? Pat, who got your vote? Number three was right about the fact that Miss Piggy is the voice of Frank Oz, Jim Henson is Kermit the Frog, and other wonderful people, but not Miss Piggy. Number three. That's a vote for number three. And Henry, who, who got your vote? Um, I voted for number three simply because... Oh, you don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> you don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh, Peg, who got your vote? Well, I voted for number three. I think his wife does give him too much money, but Miss Piggy, he had her right. That's another vote for number three. And Soupy, are you going to join yeah, your well, colleagues? Yeah, well, number or? one uh, didn't know... It was Jack Eigen. 
is uh, does a talk show from Miami who used to be very big from the Copa and in Chicago. Number two said it was Jim Henson does the voice of Miss Piggy. It is Frank Oz. And number three, I voted. All right, another vote for number three. It's unanimous. Either you're all right or this has been a terrible travesty it's right here, panel. Phone. We're going to find out which. Yeah. Now we're going to find out which of these people has the only coast-to-coast -coast radio show. Will the real Larry King please stand up? You're right. Let's find out who our imposters are. Number one, could you tell us uh, who you are and what you yeah, do in I'm real Charlie life? I'm Charlie Berry. I represent Smithsonian Magazine here in New York. And number two, could you give us a little information about to yourself? To tell the please? truth, I'm Don Bowden. I'm a photo consultant with Wide World Photos here in the city. Oh. Larry, we appreciate your coming here. I know you've been up for 29 hours. You must be totally exhausted. You sit there night after night. You get calls from a lot of people. A lot of the calls must be a bit weird. What's some of the weirdest calls you've had? Well, oddly enough, most of the calls are pretty good. Uh, they pay for their own calls. We, uh, the average age, Henry had asked that, average, average out about 29. Well, Larry, it's been a pleasure having you on the show. Thank Unfortunately, you. you didn't win any money, and with your allowance, I, would, I think we should chip in, maybe. You know, it sounds <laughs> bad. It's been a great pleasure, gentlemen. We'll see two of you back on One on One. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. It started six years ago with a simple taste test. Pepsi versus Coke, the Pepsi Challenge. Thousands have taken a taste test like this, and nationwide, more people prefer the taste of Pepsi over Coca-Cola. Here are some people you've seen before coming up. Now, panel, you, of course, remember these good people. They were imposters for the first two spots. We've chatted with them. We know a few details about their lives. But there's one fact that we have withheld from you. One of these four people is also a dance contest winner. It's up to you to find out which one, who it is, and what the contest is. And, Soupy, you ready to question Don? Please yes. start now. Don, what contest did you win? Foxtrot. Where? Roseland. Uh, when? Uh, two months ago. Uh -huh. Who's the Who's the lady of the band that plays there? There was no band there. It was recorded music. Oh, really? Is that uh, you a big dancer? We go out once a week. Do you have footprints on the floor? So on the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> Is Don our foxtrot champ? No, he yes tripped no. over the beard. That's a no That's for Don. Right. <laughs> Pat, if you're ready to question Charlie, hit it now. Charlie, what kind of dancing? Uh, the National Senior Square Dance Championship in Kansas City at the American Royal. How long have you been square dancing? Uh, 14 years. Mrs. Barry and I have been doing it as a pair. Who has? Mrs. Barry and I. <gasps> Who's Mrs. Barry? She's my oh, wife. Oh, you're what? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, we had a scandal going here. Oh, does Mr. Barry know? Oh, okay. Uh, no. Uh -huh. That's a no, no for Charlie. No, 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 no. Henry, if you're ready to... Henry, Mrs. Barry, neither. Henry, no. if you're ready to question Whitney, start now. Whitney, what kind of contest did you win? Dance fever. Dance fever? Yes. Uh, listen, let's put it in a... I, I'm a little old for this kind of... Um, <laughs> what is that? That's it. Well, Dance Fever is a show out in Hollywood. Danny DiTerio is the host. And we went on and discoed and won. <laughs> Did Whitney dance on Dance Fever? Yes or no? Sure. That's a yes for Whitney. And Peggy, if you're ready to question Laura, start now. Yes, Laura, what kind of dancing? Uh, freestyle and jazz. And did you do it by yourself? No, I had a partner, my brother. So, and where was it held? In Hollywood, California. And what was the prize? Uh, two cars. Two cars? What kind? You each, one for each of you? Uh-huh. Oh, where was yes. this held? I'll go enter myself. Uh, the ABC Studios. And whose program was <coughs> Is Laura our dance champ, yes or no? Two cars, never, they're too cheap. No. That's a no. <laughs> That's a no for Laura, which means the decisions have been made and now it's time for the truth. With a real dance contest winner, please stand up. I think it's Mrs. Barry. Oh! That's right. Two cars. <laughs> Thank you.
Now, we're going to see Laura's going to come back with her, uh, her brother, uh, Mark, to demonstrate her uh, award-winning dance form. And uh, so I'm going to make uh, time for that now and just say thank you for joining us. You won $200, and we'll see you very shortly. Thanks so much. And we'll be back. We'll be back for more dancing. Promised, here are Dick Clark's American Bandstand's winning dancers, Laura and Mark Sellers. Let's hear it. All right. Woo!